Stop bleeding already. Hey, it's what you had to knock me out of the way for. A little love, just three inches, I'd have been sent to battalion eight. It'd be good for a couple of days. <laughs> hey, you never know. I go back there, maybe an infection would set in. I can get sent all the way back to Paris. Ah, uh, okay, Kirby. Next time a crowd grenade drops by, you're on your own, buddy. Okay, okay, that's the deal. Sergeant, we have an important prisoner to take to battalion. Can you direct us? Not battalion, Lieutenant, but our company's down the road a ways. Maybe you could drop him off there. No soap, Sarge. Joker's a corrupt colonel. He goes right to the top. Uh, and you, right along with him, right? <laughs> I told you we've been working the wrong part of the line. What else are you from, Corporal? 594th. We were just pulling back from the... Uh... All right, Corporal. Yes, sir. Uh, Lieutenant, our platoon is down the road about a quarter of a mile in a village, maybe... I can tell you what a battalion is. Thank you, Sergeant. Hey, Lieutenant, sir, uh, if you're going that way, maybe you could drop me a platoon. See, I kind of got racked up back there and... Uh... Hey, Kirby. Oh, what do you say, buddy, huh? Bye-bye. Uh, Soweit ganz gut. Ja, Herr Ober. Englisch! From now on we speak only English. Jason. And Vic Morrow. Guest star, James Coburn. Do you know where we are? Yes, I know exactly where we are. I just don't know where the stupid Americans keep their battalion headquarters. And it's not likely we'll find it on a German map. Well, then destroy it. Burn it. So what? In front of Americana. I'm sorry. I'll remember to speak in English. Yes, you do that, Lieutenant.
Bert. What about that crop colonel riding? He has his wounded GI. He's got to make it on his own. I'm not kidding you, little John. They got a manual someplace that they ain't showed him. It says the colonel's got to ride. But no matter what happens to him or what side it happens to be on, they got to ride. Yeah, just give him a couple of minutes, he will be. Huh. Come on, can you, can you help me get this thing off of him? Oh, once you go back and get yourself another one, it'd be just as easy. Better be shut up and give my hand. Huh. You too, little guy. Your lieutenant's gonna be okay. Lieutenant Comstock. It's Corporal Kanger. You're all right. Lieutenant Comstock? Lieutenant Comstock, it's Corporal Kanger. You're all right. Lieutenant Comstock, it's Corporal Kanger. What happened? You hit a mine, Lieutenant. The two of you were thrown clear. But the crowd wasn't so lucky. Is he alive? Hey, Sarge, can you uh, have your men fix up a litter? Get that crowd back to battalion? Hey, give them a hand here with a litter. Yeah, thanks a lot, Sarge. This crowd joker means a lot to us. We lost two men getting him. We'll get him back to Wild Platoon, notify battalion aid. No sense I want to look at him. Yeah, that's a good idea, Sarge. <laughs> hey, take it easy with him, huh? We'll get him back to battalion. Kennedy. They realize how important this man is? We've got to get him back. Italian 8 sent Captain Sims, he's the best surgeon around. There's no sense all of us standing around doing nothing. If you and the corporal want some Java, we got a putt on down the way. No coffee for me, Lieutenant. If you'd like some, I'll be glad to stick it out here. All right. I think I will have some java. Sergeant, show the lieutenant where he can get himself a cup of coffee. Hey, feel, lieutenant. All right. Good. Where are you from, lieutenant? St. Paul. Oh, Twin City, right? Yeah, gateway to the west. Yeah, I had a buddy who took base up by the loop. This camp, uh... No, I can't help you on that. I'm ROTC myself in the university. In hey, Minnesota? Yeah. Well, I had some pretty good football teams there just before the war. Yeah. Baseball's my game. New York Yankees, Joe DiMaggio. Chicago Cubs, Gabby Hartnett. Yeah. Detroit Tigers. Detroit Tigers. You've been up here too long, haven't you, Lieutenant? No. I've been stationed behind the lines for a while. Back there, the war is a game of numbers and statistics without any meaning. Now, the numbers have meaning. Coffee's over here, Lieutenant. Okay, Sergeant, I could use a cup of java.
Church! Well, I think he's going to be all right, Corporal. Can't be moved for a while yet. We've got to get him back to battalion. Well, I'm sorry. I can't authorize his being moved. He's lost too much blood. Captain, they need that crowd back at battalion. The Colonel's important to get him to talk. It could save hundreds of lives. Now, I appreciate your concern, Corporal. I'm sure any commendation you may expect back at battalion can wait just a little while longer. Yes, sir. Well, I did everything I could for him, Lieutenant. Uh, right now, he needs about uh, four hours rest. I'll send an ambulance for him around, oh, 3.30, say. Whatever time that is. 15.30 hours. I'll give you a lift anywhere, Lieutenant. I'd like to be back to company. Fine, hop in. Captain. I got a little out of line, sir. I'm sorry. It's all right. Let's go. before he can be moved. But he's all right, and he'll live? Yes, Lieutenant, he'll live. Look, I am only concerned with the successful yes, completion Lieutenant. of this mission. Oh, we can't stand here for four hours. No. Why don't we join the, uh... Oh, for God, the officers can't fraternize. Goodbye, officer. What's the name of the game, Carl? Dealer's choice. You want to get in? Yeah, just till the end of the war. Come on, sit down. Yeah. Dollar yeah. pitch in the good drink. Yeah. The pot there. Yeah. All right, let's deal the cards, huh? Well, come on, let's go. Hop by, hop by, hop by. That's two deals. Why are you trying to squeeze an extra one? Oh, this new deal doesn't count if nobody opens it. Mickey Mouse games. You'll have us play an old mother goose before you're done. How much you drop? Clowns haven't touched me yet. I'm still working on my small bills. Well, stick around, Corporal. Maybe we'll work up to your stakes. Oh, don't get me wrong. I just made a killing in a game back in my outfit. Any game you can make a killing in, I want to play in it. I'll open. How'd I get transferred in your outfit? Talk to the lieutenant. Look out for old friend. Hey, what's with that lieutenant anyway? Don't he know we're all fighting the same war? What do you want? He's a college kid, you know, ROTC. I want to stamp that. Ask him the meaning of the war, he'll do 20 minutes. How about five? All blue. The lieutenant lectures and you bet into a pet hand. <laughs> what do you guys do for a war, don't your outfit? Look, buddy, don't, don't say nothing about the lieutenant, at least not in front of me. He pulled me out from a corrupt machine gun nest when all the rest of our jokers had given up on me. I don't know about your boy, but I like having my lieutenant close by. Okay, okay, I get the point. Okay, hubba, hubba, hubba. What do you say we have a little uh, open on guts, huh? Hubba, 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 hubba. Now I know what they mean when they say blood money. Just what kind of a killing did you make at your outfit, anyway? <laughs> it's, a, it's a 500 franc note with a little blood on it. How do I know I got there? What do you think I do? Body snatched it off a, a dead man or something, huh? You said it, Mac. We didn't. Come on, come on. Let's get the shoe clerks out of the game, huh? Oh. Come on, come on. What's the matter with you guys? The money's good. What 
happened? The money they gave us. One of the bills had some blood on it. What did you do? Threw me. <laughs> I said what I had to say. We can't stand around out here. Let's go. How's he doing, buddy? He's resting easy. Captain said he'd Yeah, I know what the captain said. Hey. Yeah, look, he's coming out of it now. Hey, Corporal. Knock it off. All we're concerned with, Sergeant, is getting this man back to battalion headquarters as quickly as possible and returning to our own outfit. Now, you can understand that. Lieutenant, if you're so anxious to get back to your outfit, you can go right now. We'll see that the prisoner gets sent on. He's coming out of shock, Sarge. I don't think he'll make it back to battalion. That's a rough road. Our CO was very specific about getting this man back to battalion, and I'm responsible for doing that. Now, they have men there trained to interrogate ranking officers. They'll still be there in four hours, Lieutenant. He should go now. Well, knows what the doctor told me. He gets sent back to battalion in four hours. Well, let's say he goes now. Look, Corporal, if you want, I could turn my back and you can go find a vehicle. And you and the Lieutenant can take your prisoner any way you want. Then it's your problem, it's your responsibility. You could turn up a battalion with a dead body in a fancy uniform. And you could do the explaining. You sure have a lot of sensitivity to these crowds, Sarge. How do you make out like that around here? It was over for him. I don't see any point in kicking him to death. Mm -hmm. I'll go see if I can't scrounge up a vehicle. Perhaps the sergeant is right, Corporal. It's only a few more hours until they send the ambulance. Yes, sir. Our CO is a tough Joe. A real tough Joe. When he gives an order, everybody jumps. Sometimes we jump so fast we forget our responsibilities. You know what I mean, Sergeant. Sure, Lieutenant. Ash! Ash! Rush, huh? That's a cigarette. Yeah, Rauch, it's part of the verb to smoke. <laughs> that in four years of college wins him a gold bar, Sarge. Well, what do you say we forget about the lectures for a while, Lieutenant, and go out and get a little chow? Yeah, keep an eye on our boys, Sarge. We'll be back for him. don't understand. You have got to be flexible. Be able to change your plans when you have to. We'll think of something. The plans must be changed. The colonel was supposed to be sacrificed as a prisoner, not killed. You'll find another method of getting through to battalion. You're inhuman. A machine. A machine with a certain facility for American words and no more. Rolke? No, Lieutenant, you may be right. Maybe the... Group leaders thought of me that way. Inhuman. Let me tell you something about us inhumans. We all have one thing in common. An instinct for survival. Now one more slip, Lieutenant, and I may have to kill you. Just so this animal can survive.
Hey, Lieutenant. First shot at the window. That looks pretty safe. Come up, and I'll cover you. You cover me. What happened if you have to shoot? You mean that man back there? I couldn't get a clear shot at him. Uh -huh. Sergeant Sawyer, is that what you're going to tell him? Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, I couldn't get a clear shot. Uh, not one. Not one clean shot. Not the whole time. Well, I can explain it. Why's my gun jammed? Sure, Lieutenant. There were many reasons why I couldn't shoot that man. There'll be no more mistakes. You'll see. They have no reason to suspect. You go ahead. I'll cover you. There's just a probing action, Lieutenant. They were just as anxious to get out as we were. Any casualties? No casualties. You know, Lieutenant, I've been wondering about those two men that came up with the crowd colonel. Yeah. I don't know, there's something off somewhere. I've been wondering about it. Saunders. I thought you said there weren't any casualties. I didn't think there were any. Time, huh? Yeah, long enough. Sergeant, what about that ambulance? It'll be here. Where'd you say he was from? Uh, Lieutenant, I mean. I didn't say. From out west. Out west, huh? Not from out west. Whereabouts? You ever been in Jersey City, Sergeant? Well, back there, you're either from New York or you're from out west. Who knows from Seattle or Wisconsin? That's all you know about him, huh? Just that he was from out west, huh? He's a good man, though. Hey, Sarge, uh, maybe a lieutenant ought to try to reach those jokers up at the battalion. See if they haven't forgotten about our prize package in there, huh? Okay, you keep an eye out here and I'll check inside. Yeah, okay, Sarge. Hubba hubba. Yeah. Hubba hubba. Yes, sir, to see if the 594th is carrying him on a arrestor. Look, I'm pretty busy. Let's play games tomorrow, Saunders. Well, I'm not playing games, Lieutenant. Those two, they just don't add up. Lieutenant. I think they're crowds. Well, I've got reasons. They're not big ones, but i got a lot of them. Well, suppose you start with number one. All right, what about the way of trying to get this wounded colonel back to the town? They scream at every delay. They're wanting him back alive. Lieutenant, it just doesn't add up. A four-hour delay? 
Well, I talked to Lieutenant Comstock before he was killed, and I don't know what it is, Lieutenant, but there's something strange about him. A lot of second lieutenants are strange. Besides, Kanger fits. Does he, Lieutenant? Does he really fit? Just another GI? He's always trying to make a point. He's always pushing like that hubba hubba talk. Lieutenant, supposing he is a kraut, and he gets back to battalion, he can cause a lot of damage. He can knock off the top brass, blow out the message center, and the further back he goes, the more damage he can do. You need that man back at battalion. And why can't delay him anymore because of your feelings? Look, Lieutenant. That's all, Sergeant. Yes, sir. retire before you kill someone. <laughs> hey, Cooper, how'd you let Soap get this close to the action? Yeah, so this is war. You know something? I'm sure glad you're up here. It makes me feel warm and safe back in my sack at night, just knowing you're here. <laughs> oh, oh, listen here, I volunteered for this mission. Yeah. And when the colonel found out about it, he says, if you get through all right, you got yourself a couple of days of rest and rehabilitation. Oh. Uh, if you'll excuse me, gentlemen, I have things to do. <laughs> hey, Sergeant. Cooper. Yeah. Uh, name's Kanger, 594th. I'll be going back with you. Oh, well, it's always a pleasure to meet one of our fight men, Corporal. Uh, I'll give you a hand with a litter. Yeah, come on, come on. Spot up, buddies. Our colonel ready to go? We have to wait, Corporal. There's going to be a delay. Delay? What? Waiting for a call from battalion. Oh, come on, Lieutenant. We wait, Corporal. Yes, sir. Oh. How you doing, Doc? All right. How you doing, Doctor? Oh, I... Hey, I was just wondering if this, uh... This fellow's gonna be all right enough to answer a few questions when we get him back, Yonder. I don't know. I've done all I can. Maybe back at battalion. I... You seem to be doing just fine, you know, huh? Well, he doesn't seem to respond like he should. I don't know. He's not a young man. Hey, don't you worry, now. Huh? He's gonna get back all right. I done lost three this week already. That's my limit. thing in the world, isn't it? Just sitting around, waiting. Yeah, it sure is, Sarge. That's the army for you. Just like in England, waiting for D-Day. You remember? Yeah, that was rough. Whereabouts we stationed in England? No place in particular. They just kept moving us around, you know. Huh. Hey, Sarge, you got a, got a smoke? Oh, yeah, sure. Seems to me like the uh, 594th was stationed in the same camp with us once. Right outside of Sheffield. Sheffield? Mm -hmm. No, that must have been uh, before I joined him. Before you joined him? You mean you didn't come over with him, huh? Yeah, I came over later as a replacement. Sheffield, huh? How'd you like it there? How long were you there? Quite a while. How were the girls? Were they friendly? Yeah, they were real friendly. I looked some... Oh, wait a minute, Sergeant. I'll ask you that for a reason. You see, ever since I met you today, I've uh, been watching you and thinking about you, and you strike me as a Joe that uh, doesn't really ever have any kicks. You're not married, huh? Engaged? You got a steady girl? 
What's your kick, Sergeant? Hanley. Yes, sir. I've got it, sir. Yes, sir. Out. Take off. Yes, sir. Well, come on, you guys. Let's go, huh? Always pleasant doing business with you, sir. Comstock, David E., Lieutenant, Kanger, Arnold, Corporal, both carried on the roster of the 594th. You satisfied, Sergeant? So long, Doc. Hey, hey, Doc. You know something? Looks like you could use a little rest and rehabilitation yourself. <laughs> All right, I'll drive and you stay here. Yeah, no, wait a minute. <laughs> you heal in a hurry. Hey, bring back some comic books next trip. Back when you feel feeling better. Sounds like idiots. Right, out. Idiots, Lieutenant. Yeah, on our flank. Looks like they're gonna push at the second battalion a little bit. One more thing. S2 just checked. Comstock and Kanger. They reported missing in action five days ago. I was right. Look at him. He, he looks like he's choking or something. Oh, I ain't no doctor. I'm a medic. We're moving out. What's the word, Sarge? The crowds are moving up their 88s. They're going to try to break through around the 39th. We'll be all right for a while. Well, I don't mean about that. I, I mean about that Corporal Kanger. Nothing. No sign of him in the battalion yet. What just doesn't seem right? Those crowds wearing our uniform. Well, you guess they expect almost anything, but... Yeah, it's like they wasn't fighting according to rules. Is that what you mean? Yeah, kind of. There aren't any rules in war, little John. There's still plenty of crowds out there in our own uniforms. Let's worry about them. How do you suppose they got a hold of those uniforms, Kirby? Maybe I'll feel it up with I don't know. Well, you, you take that money with all the blood on it. Must have got it the same way, I guess. Anything new on Kanger yet, Sarge? No. <laughs> I just can't get used to it. Sitting there the whole game across from that crowd. He could have thrown a grenade in that pot any time he felt like it. That ambulance still hasn't reached battalion. I'm sending you back. Why? Well, you can identify Kanger on sight. Also, you made contact with the three of them first. Headquarters will want to question you about it. Find out the technique. They're expecting a lot more from Drew soon. The crowds are concentrating on a line with us to the north, so the road ahead ought to be pretty clear. Scrounge yourself up a jeep. Right.
End of the line, buddy. I have to get the battalion. Forget it. It's a bridge out up ahead. It's out, huh? Yeah. What about that road over there? Can I swing around? Uh, no dice. It's full of potholes. An ambulance just broke a wheel before it went 50 yards. An ambulance? Yeah. Is it still there? I said it broke a wheel, didn't I? Is that them or us? Them. I hear there's crop patrols moving up. Hey! Hey, what's all the fuss? After a guy named Kanga. Kangas tags. Look, pal, you better tell me what's going on here. Crowds have been sneaking through the lines. Fifty of them, I heard. You see one of them? No, but the guy who killed him is. Was he driving the ambulance? No. Another guy, thinner face. Did you talk to him after the ambulance piled up? No, by the time I got here, he was running up that hill. Hey! Hey, there's crowds moving up on that flank! Sergeant. Ah! Pick up your sidearm, Sergeant. Throw it over there. three weeks in an American prison capture to learn words like that. It was easy, no strain. They believed me just like all of you. It was an Italian. Vermont. Capital Montpelier, eh? dark and uh, PFC Vito Conde will make his way back through the American lines. It's too bad he's only a PFC. I was counting on making sergeant today. <laughs> but don't sweat though, sergeant. You hit it lucky. There's a German patrol making way up the hill. I'm going to turn you over to them. Sergeant's always good to take back for interrogation. Believe me, Sergeant. If I wasn't such a good soldier, I'd be wearing your stripes tonight. Sure, I believe you. Of course you believe me. All Americans believe. <laughs> a great American sucker. Make them cry and you can sell them anything you've got for sale. I know, I've lived over there for ten years. They tried to get me with their sentimental emotionalism. I wouldn't buy it. I never forgot who I was. I never forgot what I was worth. Good for you. They're not suckers. They doubt. 
They question me. Ich bin Feldwebel Vogelin! Von der SS! Mit Sonne wie fair! I told them who I was. In Hammer Heiden Gefangenen! Kommt rauf! I told them I have a prisoner. They come up. They're coming up. So pass off! Pass off! Hold your fire! I'm an American! My name is Saunders. Sergeant! I'm from the 361st! I'm wounded! I can't make it any... I can't make it any further. Where are you from in the States? From Illinois. What's the capital of Illinois? Springfield, Springfield. Give us your full name, rank, and serial number. We'll check you out. I can't. I can't make it. I can't make it. Thank <laughs> you.